Tom, mm -hmm. as a beginning artist with little experience, how would I go about taking charge on stage? Well, first of all, it's a process, just like anything. Uh, one of the, the biggest problems with all of us as human beings is we want the world and we want it now. Um, so if I could give, seriously, if I could give a magic pill, wave a wand, lay hands on people and say, listen, give me a thousand bucks and, you, and I'll lay hands on you or give you a pill and you instantly become a confident, great performer, I guarantee you I would have hundreds of thousands of people lining up to take that pill or to, to get that wand. Uh, but unfortunately, um, it's never worked. In fact, I've had people uh, come up to me, and I, you know, I mean, I work in the gospel industry sometimes, and I've had people come up to me, and I'll lay hands on them, and I'll say, "Okay, now, in the name of Jesus, you're now a great performer," and they're going, "No, nothing yet." So, so it doesn't work. That's my point. Which brings us to the thing that does work, which is the process. There's no quick way to anything, anything that's worthwhile. So uh, to develop confidence and take control on stage is multifaceted, but it does start with confidence. And the confidence comes from two places, preparation. If you're prepared, it's like singing. If you know the words, if somebody handed you the words and the melody to a song and said, you're on in five minutes, sing the song. What are you thinking? You're thinking, I just hope I sing it right. First of all, the pr first problem is you're thinking. You shouldn't be thinking on stage. It's one of my Ten Commandments. I have Ten Commandments of Performance. And thou shalt not be thinking on stage, because as soon as you're thinking on stage, you're self-conscious. You're not, you're not, you're not uh, loving your audience. You're not reaching out to your audience. You're preoccupied with yourself and getting things right. So the first thing is, uh, you've got to understand uh, the fundamentals of, of performance. You've got to be. You've got to prepare. You've got to un you feel good about what you're doing physically, what you're doing vocally, what you're doing musically, and that takes back to the, uh, the rehearsal question. Rehearsing, but rehearsing the right things. And some of that stuff is woodshedding. Um, could you imagine taking your vocal lessons uh, at a rehearsal when everyone's sitting around waiting? No, that is your woodshedding stuff. You go in, you learn the fundamentals of your voice, you go back and repeat repetition, 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 so that when you go to rehearsal, you don't have to go, oh, you don't have to go through all your stuff. I mean, you might warm up, but you don't have to go through all your stuff. You have the tools already developed as a, as a singer. Well, it's the same thing as, a, as an artist. So the first part is preparation. The more prepared you are, the more confident you are. And a lot of people don't like to do repetition on their show, but the truth is that is where we want to get. We want to be so repetitive that when we stand on stage, our adrenaline's flowing, people are looking at us, uh, the monitors are feeding back. We're not, you know, it's not, it does, isn't daunting to us. We, we know how to respond to it because we're prepared. Uh, so that's the first place confidence comes from uh, as a young singer. Not just a young singer, actually for everybody. And the second thing is, and this gets into the psychology and the, uh, the emotional part of it, and you might even say the spiritual part. This stuff is from the inside out, is that you've got to have a good belief system and understanding that you're supposed to be on that stage that night. And, th and so we go from confidence to authority. Now, um, I guess the perfect example, now this is not a beginning singer, but this is a goal. What makes Bono such an amazing performer? Is it because he's great vocally? Well, no. Is it, now, is it he can sing? Is it the songs? So they got great songs. Do they play well? Yeah. On and on and on. You can line them up. But there's something that transcends that. And that thing that transcends that is authority. And, but you're not going to get to authority until you have confidence. And that co confidence, authority is built on confidence. So you have to develop this confidence and have, have the faith and the courage to take chances, and, and there's all these psychological things that need to be a part of who you are on stage. Um, so you've got to be um, preparing yourself emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, before you walk out on stage.